The rest of the entire movie industry got two whole days of breathing room between the release of the last Star Wars movie on Blu-ray and the teaser trailer for the next Star Wars movie. <laughs> The first teaser trailer for Star Wars Rogue One finally dropped on Thursday, and rather than look at every single frame and try to analyze everything that's going on like a lot of people have done, you can find a lot of great analysis out there already. I wanted to talk about a few things within the trailer that I saw that, that give me just a better overall feeling of, of the direction they're going with this movie and, and certain things that it appears that they're actually going to do with this movie that are somewhat different from other things we've seen within the Star Wars universe so far. The first thing I want to talk about is the sense of just a little bit more realism. Now, obviously, this is still a science fiction story, so there's going to be a lot in there that you couldn't really consider realism, but stepping away from the likes of the Force and the Jedi and the Sith, sort of the mysticism of everything Star Wars, that doesn't seem like it's going to really be apparent here at all. And I guess we kind of knew that in a way, and there will still apparently be Darth Vader in some capacity within this movie, but for the most part, we're dealing with real characters characters that have had something like a troubled past and are sort of looking for a shot at redemption as they sort of hint toward with felicity jones's character i like that aspect of things because one of my biggest talking points over the last several months in analyzing a lot of things star wars and and looking ahead to a lot of things star wars is the idea that there is so much within this universe that is untouched so far because so much of the story has been within this small group of characters that 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 deal with you know i mean a lot of the events of the galaxy surround around them but there's so much more with with people with troubled backgrounds with bounty hunters with smugglers and, and all the different things that i think you could take a deeper look into and I think to some degree, it appears that we're getting that with Rogue One. The second thing I'm pretty excited about is to see more about the actual struggle of the Rebel Alliance. Now, we've been told plenty about just how much they had their backs against the wall against the Galactic Empire, but we haven't really been shown that very much. From the very beginning, when we're first introduced to the Rebel Alliance in A New Hope, we pretty much meet them, they discuss a battle strategy, and destroy the Death Star, which is pretty much the crown prize of the entire galactic empire at the time yes they get trounced a little bit in the battle of hoth but then in return of the jedi they destroy another death star so in a big way the rebels have sort of always had the upper hand on screen and, and much of the struggle has been limited to expanded universe things but it seems like we're going to get a better idea of the actual struggle to be shown the struggle of the rebel alliance rather than just told about it in a sense the third thing is that it seems like they're really trying something new with star wars now we know that kind of goes along with the first thing I mentioned in some way, but to step outside the main storyline and that main core group of characters to tell a new story and in a way that looks in a lot of ways to be kind of dark and kind of gritty. Now, I know dark and gritty has been all the rage for the last 10 years or so, and, and that's fine. And, and, you know, to some degree, dark and gritty doesn't necessarily make something good. A good story makes something good, but having a dark and gritty feel to it can, can heighten the intensity. So I see why studios are always aiming for that. Star Wars, on the other hand, has sort of played it safe in a lot of ways of, of being kid-friendly, even though The Force Awakens, yeah, did have a PG-13 rating, but it wasn't too dark or too gritty. And I get the sense that with the amount of war and the, the amount of war machines we essentially see just in this trailer, that we are going to get a little bit darker and a little bit more gritty with, again, and it sort of ties into the second thing I said, of the rebels having their backs against the wall, of showing that, that true peril and potential despair that they're facing. And just to add on a little bit more to that, the look of everything looks great. Obviously, The Force Awakens gave us somewhat of a modern-looking feel to classic Star Wars, where everything looks somewhat as it did back then, but with a modern and more real-feeling vibe. And I think they're going that same route, also set in somewhat the same era as A New Hope. Obviously, it's, it's immediately before those events. And it looks amazing. It gives me that much more just confidence in Disney and Lucasfilm in general, since those two became partnered up, that they have the idea of, of how to make this all look good and make it look compelling and give a sense of realism to, again, this science fiction world. The last thing that really excites me is the notion that this movie will pretty much be its own contained story with 
everything pretty much wrapped up at the end there's no expectations for a sequel with this at least not that i know of because essentially episode four a new hope already serves as the sequel to this movie so every storyline is essentially going to be told from start to finish with no expectations or cliffhangers for something to come for them later on and i think that's really cool and in a lot of ways something rare that you see in movies these days where you do have that entirely contained story and you don't have to have this thought of what are they going to do are they going to make a sequel of this later on that didn't necessarily need to be made this movie should be its own entity and it looks like it will be now that's not to say that certain characters or aspects from this movie couldn't eventually carry over into possibly i, I don't know if it's likely but possibly future films uh but also expanded universe material things like books or comics um that's that's very possible but i don't think they're going to worry about setting that up at all with in this movie and i love that notion anyway that's just a couple takeaways i have from this trailer again like i said if you want breakdown of every little frame there's some very quality youtubers out there doing that exact thing uh to give you a better idea of certain things that are going on and, and bits and pieces that you can see within this trailer that little bits of information have been revealed about already uh, but anyway that's just my takeaways from all this i'm excited i i couldn't be more pumped for this movie and it doesn't feel real that with with the fallout of the force awakens just you know kind of now dying out obviously the blu-ray release was earlier this week but we get another star wars movie in december and that is so freaking exciting especially when it looks as cool as this one in somewhat of a familiar setting within everything that is crucial in the star wars universe so i'm pumped i hope you're pumped if you like this video please please click that thumbs up button i always appreciate that and uh as always everybody thanks so much for watching